Hi and welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I am Wally Graham and I'm at the RIU Uranium Conference speaking with an old friend of the Roadhouse, Ian Mulholland, but uh, with a new badge, Ian Mulholland, at, of Cauldron Energy these days. That's right, non-executive chairman of Cauldron Energy, um, a company with uh, some really good uh, uranium projects in WA. All right, WA, you know, some people may say uranium projects in WA, why would you bother? But um, there's, you know, there's this method in your madness, Ian. Well, there is. Uh, currently, um, as many people would know, there's a uh, ban on uranium mining by the uh, Labor government in, in WA, and that has been on and off over the years. You know, whenever the government changes from Liberal to Labor, you know, the ban comes on or comes off or whatever. But uh, you can't change the fundamentals of a good project. And so the, uh, the strategy for us is uh, you've got a, we've got a good project, we want to get it ready for when, uh, when the uh, window opens and we can get the project approved, uh, just like a number of other projects in WA have been approved, so we can get, move, move forward and create value for shareholders. Yeah, I mean, of course, I mean, you would be remiss if you just ignored the fact and uh, did not work the project up. You know, you've got to have yeah. it. As you were saying, as you, we were talking before we came on air, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, you know to have the project ready to go, bang, here it is, uh, and uh, yeah, it, and it's worthwhile. You've got to do it. It's always difficult to uh, to raise money, you know, uh, in that situation, and and of course, you know, you create dilution for shareholders by doing it at a lower price than perhaps later. But if we don't do the work now, when the opportunity comes, we won't be ready to go. All right, so the, the project itself, um, you know, yeah. you, I mean, you're obviously keen on it to be uh, yeah. doing that, so yeah, yeah, tell us about it. So uh, it's 30 million pounds of uh, uranium, more than 30 million pounds, um, at a reasonable grade for, a, it's an in-situ recovery style uh, deposit. Um, there's been, uh, you know, a, a scoping study done, uh, the financial uh, uh, returns are quite good at the prevailing uranium price. We think the project can be uh, probably optimised and improved. Uh, and we're, you know, this last six months we've been doing a fairly intensive uh, drilling program uh, and we've discovered some new deposits there. Uh, and we've got about another 20 targets to, to test. So uh, we're pretty bullish about the whole thing. Well, um, bullish is a, a good word because it was uh, the same word that the Argonaut man was using this morning about how they're feeling about uranium. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and really, uh, if you know, if and when maybe what uh, the, you know the, the ban is lifted, um, there is a, there is a ready-made market already out there, like especially like the American market. Oh, absolutely! You know, the the, uh, the demand is there. Uh, you can see all the other uranium. Uh, players around the world, you know, and, and people at this conference, for example, they're all going gung-ho because uh, this is where the opportunity is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And even though you are in WA, look, I've spoken yeah. to people in South Australia where the mining's going on, Wyoming in America, yeah. but, you know, there's uh, no reason why a mining jurisdiction like WA shouldn't uh, probably join in the queue. I, I, you know, honestly, it's it's a bit of a crime, really, to for, for you know, a political party to have such a policy which is really based on ideology it's not doesn't have any firm economic uh, basis or anything like that so um, and, and if WA is going to call itself the premier mining jurisdiction in the world then it should be allowing uranium mining. <laughs> Nothing like a little bit of social comment for a, 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 a conference afternoon. No, yeah, no worries. I know I can always rely on you. No, um, all right. Well, it sounds like um, it sounds to me as though you've got the project going along where you'd like it. Yeah. And uh, we're just sort of uh, waiting for that opportune moment to arise. That's right. And uh, hopefully it'll happen soon. All right, mate. Thanks very much. Cheers.